वायरस यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर लिविंग एंटिटी वी ऑल रादर एवरी वन नाउ डेज मतलब इवन दो ही बिलोंग्स टू माइक्रो बायोलॉजी और डज नॉट बिलोंग टू माइक्रो बायोलॉजी ही नोज दिस पर्टिकुलर बायोलॉजिकल एंटिटी दैट इज अ वायरस राइट वी मे नॉट बी दैट मच अवेयर विद अ बैक्टीरिया वी मे नॉट बी दैट मच अवेयर विद अ फंजा बट इवन अ कॉमन जनरल पब्लिक हु हैज मिनिस्क्यूल नॉलेज ऑफ माइक्रो बायोलॉजी ही ऑल्सो नोज और शी ऑल्सो नोज दैट वॉट इज अ वायरस राइट नाउ यू हर्ड अबाउट डिफरेंट वायरस इज आई नॉट बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द वायरस विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द पैंडमिक सो डोंट बी afraid i'll be not talking about the viruses which are our enemies probably we have uh, thought about these particular microbes as our greatest enemies matlab you see most of the uh, what you call as uh, people who are generally talking about the uh, any kind of a microbial entity they are talking about them as a enemy matlab they they frighten us that they are going to cause a disease and they are going to make us ill and probably they'll kill us right so this is what we generally what you call as have in our mind like this is what a virus is right this is what a bacteria is right so talking about a, a virus which uh, does not infect an animal uh, which does not infect a plant probably you got it right i'm talking about the virus which infects a bacteria and yes all my microbiology friends they are now got it right i'm talking about bacteriophages right the viruses which infect the bacteria bacteria themselves are so minuscule and now you can imagine how minuscule these particular bacteriophages would be now these particular bacteriophages not discovered recently <laughs> it is not a thing which was happened like 2 years back or 10 years back or some 50 years back it was long back in 1915 1915 where uh you all know that uh, frederick tort and felix de herle they uh, are credited for discovery of these particular entities responsible for killing the bacteria that is your bacteriophages right from the discovery like like one of the co discoverers of these bacteriophages your felix de herle in 1915 at the pasteur institute in paris he at that time had suggested probably you could use these particular bacteriophages to cure deadly bacterial diseases which were actually uh, what you call as uh, killing many humans or affecting and infecting many humans throughout the world like bubonic plague we all know uh, like deadly cholera so all these deadly uh, diseases they could be overcome by using these particular phages it was the idea of felix de herle at that time though it did not work out much at that period of time probably we did not know much about these particular viruses we did not know much about these particular bacteriophages we we were we were not sure that how one particular microbial agent who is killing us right uh, can be what you call as uh, taken care of by using another microbial agent which is killing that particular microbial agent <laughs> so probably uh, thinking this was um, uh, a little bit absurd or the ideas were not very clear at that particular moment of time another major reason which uh, like uh, had this particular idea completely uh, go into the background was the discovery of antibiotics matlab we know that uh, we we live in a world or uh, the common human mentality is that we want a, a solution to the problem immediately especially when the patient is suffering from a uh, deadly disease right so in a period of around 1940s to 1950s there was an entire era for discovery of antibiotics and the results of these particular antibiotics to cure a typical bacterial disease were alarmingly you can say uh, visible and everyone was uh, like they were uh, very much uh, what to call as happy with the results of these particular antibiotics so somewhere people started forgetting these particular phages who could be potentially used for curing these deadly diseases without any problems like which we face today like we know that antibiotics have their own issues matlab we have allergies to the antibiotics we have uh, a broad range of these antibiotics <laughs> rather which was thought as a potential uh, what you call as a advantage of the antibiotic at that point of time that is seems to be a major disadvantage now because when we are living in a age where there is antibiotic resistance phages matlab they were found to be very specific for their um, bacterial host probably that was another major reason uh, which hampered the use of these particular phages to be used uh, in treatment of a particular disease because what used to happen is that because of this a particular phage will kill only a particular bacterial host and therefore if you want to treat 10 different diseases which is caused by 10 different strains of bacteria obviously you will have to you have a combination of 10 different bacteriophages <laughs> so uh, that was probably uh, a challenging task when people that time never thought that uh, we could have a cocktail of these bacteriophages which could be used in a variety of strain but that came up uh, later in the in the story uh, so not that you will find that even in literature these uh, particular bacteriophages they were being uh, praised matlab uh, long back like when 1915 felix de herle he told that you could use these 
bacteriophages for uh, curing a particular disease. Uh, a famous novel at that moment itself in 1925 where uh, the Aerosmith, where Martin Aerosmith was the uh, leading in the, that particular plot was shown as a uh, physician, a young physician uh, traveling to West Indies and curing the disease with the help of bacteriophages. You can also tell me some other uh, literature, uh, what you call as interventions of these bacteriophages. Many books and many novels and many write-ups in 2002, in 2012 and lately in 2019 also people have been uh, what you call as thinking and uh, using these particular bacteriophages in their literary writing. So please mention in the comment box if you know any such kind of a story or a writing uh, which uses these particular bacteriophages in the main plot. <laughs> Anyways, so talking about this, as I told, people thought that uh, they were very specific and therefore uh, using one particular virus for curing a disease of a multiple strain was a bit difficult. It was uh, not uh, very long uh, after the discovery of these bacteriophages, say around in around 1980s, uh, one of the Polish uh, microbiologists, uh, you can say virologist, um, who was working with these particular bacteria and viruses, uh, Stephen Slopek, he came up with the idea. He found a particular patient who was infected with a, a deadly bacteria. He isolated that particular bacteria. Along with that, he also isolated a bacteriophage which was infecting that particular bacteria. And then he used this particular bacteriophage preparation on that particular patient and he found that there were amazingly great results. The patient immediately recovered. At the same time, like he tried the same therapy on around 137 patients at that time, long back in 1980s in Poland. Now, today also you will find countries like uh, Georgia, uh, even that time Ileva Institute, it was formed. Uh, where uh, scientist Ileva, he visited the Paris Institute, had a talk with Dehirli and that time only he had established an uh, institute which could de dedicatedly work for these particular bacteriophages. So in countries like Russia, in countries like Poland, in countries like Georgia, we have uh, what you call as this particular therapy, uh, you can say uh, you being used effectively and being researched at a larger scale. So as I told, in some parts of the world, this was not uh, what you call as much thought about, not much researched about, but there was another part of the world where people were relying on these particular bacteriophages. It happened like uh, in around uh, similar periods, matlab, there were many problems which were encountered. As I told, one major problem was the specificity that could be encountered or that could be uh, what you call as countered by uh, using a cocktail of these particular bacteriophages. You can have a mixture of bacteriophages to uh, cure a disease caused by multiple strains of bacteria. Another major issue which was found was uh, we know that when these particular bacteriophages they kill a typical bacterial cell, they lyse these bacterial cells. Now that uh, solves one problem but creates another. <laughs> because you know that when a typical gram negative bacterial cell is lysed, it results in the components of the lysed cell wall. And these lysed cell wall components, uh, they are responsible for a circulatory shock. So that may be again more harmful to the patient. Matlab, uh, injecting a bacteriophage and then having a circulatory shock uh, is really not a good idea at all. <laughs> so uh, it was in 2004 when a group of scientists in uh, Vienna and Austria, they engineered a particular bacteriophage and they found that this particular bacteriophage would kill the bacteria, but that would not result in the lysis of the cell. Wonderful. <laughs> now you can kill the bacteria, but then now you do not have uh, what you call as the byproducts. You do not have the cell wall components which are actually going to cause harm to the host. Wonderful. And another major thing matlab, which they never thought of but then they found that yes, uh, this particular uh, mutant strain or uh, this engineered bacteriophage, it was more lethal than its wild counterpart. So another thing which was really very helpful. So it was not lysing the bacterial cell. So no problem of circulatory shock. It was also more lethal than its wild strain. So both were a win-win kind of a situation. So people started believing that yes, if we really work, because today we know more about bacteriophages than we know in around 1940s and 50s. Today we know their entire genetics, today we know their entire pathogenesis, we can have a purified preparations, we can have different ways of drug administration, we have a, a complete set of the setup of these clinical trials and we can really think about this particular therapy as a promising therapy to the number of problems which we are facing. Like one of the problems, like you must have all heard of somewhere here and there, the problem of uh, antimicrobial resistance. Probably we are going back to the world where none of the antibiotics would be effective. Then what we'll do, we'll have only one option that when you are infected, you just die. So what can help you is these particular phases. Let us think about that. In around uh, 2006, actually, uh, US FDA has approved these particular phages, a cocktail of six uh, bacteriophage mixtures. And this particular cocktail could be used on your meat, your... Uh, 
sausages your hot dogs right so uh, you can uh, like uh, spray this particular cocktail of the six bacteriophages and you can overcome the infection by around 170 strains of listeria monocytogens we know a bacterium responsible for causing uh, severe foodborne illnesses in uh, newborns uh, severe uh, infections in those who are uh, immunocompromised in pregnant women so these particular infections they may be sometimes fatal so this could be easily overcome by using these particular bacteriophages uh, there, there are trials going on and many people are now thinking that we can have more particular bacteriophages which would uh, help us to overcome the infections caused by E. coli by consumption of this meat so if you could treat meat with these particular bacteriophage preparations then probably uh, such food bone illnesses could be overcome uh, sometimes we also refer to use of this particular phages uh, if at all if you are using these phages to kill the bacteria at a place uh, which is not animal you also refer to them as a part of biocontrol so uh, this particular is not referred to as phage therapy there it is a biocontrol but yes as i told these phages they are going to be a promising therapy to uh, treat uh, different kinds of uh, bacterial infections so uh, there are many more amazing facts and amazing things about bacteriophages if you know some you please uh, mention in the comment box and uh, stay tuned with me professor girish kukreja for more in microbiology biotechnology biochemistry molecular biology and much more thanks a lot